Ow! Oh my god, this is loud. Jesus Christ, it's loud. What? I'm sorry. Ouch. That hurt my ears. There we go. That's good. Defeat the mechanical life form, Mother Brain. Okay. You know what? Let's, re let's reset the game. Let's reset it and actually read this. Emergency order. Exterminate all of Metroid organisms on planet Zebes. And defeat the mechanical life form, Mother Brain. Okay. Mother Brian. <laughs> there you go. Whoop. Metroid Zero Mission. So anyway, this is a remake of the first Metroid. I decided to play this instead of the first Metroid because... Uh, let's get real. Uh, honestly, the first Metroid isn't that, uh, isn't that fun to play, but I'm going to play on normal difficulty because I'm not a baby. Blech. I'm not that much of a baby. Planet Zebes. I called this planet home once in a peaceful time, long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here, my so-called Zero Mission. By Samus Aran. There we go. Alright. So number one, jump to the left, you get more fall. Ouch. Hey, can you make your dad, like, ten copies? Okay. I'll do that later. Just put black. Don't put color. I know. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Mom, for being a waste. Alright. Anyway. <laughs> Never mind. My, my mom's fine. She's just... Sometimes she uh, interrupts my recording, and uh, I don't like it. Anyway, uh, this game is pretty fun. Uh, I've never played a Metroid game on the channel, but I will. Uh, this is to commemorate Metroid Prime 4, because friggin'... I want to see what they end up doing with Metroid Prime 4. Uh, okay, hate those things. Oh, okay. Alright, I got you. Yeah, this game actually tells you where to go, as opposed to just... Killing you slowly. Uh, there you go. Can you even jump? Nope, you can't even jump. The moots are made for yumping. Alright, there you go. So let's hit up the safe point because um I don't feel like doing that again. I don't feel like waiting through cutscenes. I'm going to save Tagam. Even though it doesn't really matter because I use save states to keep my progress, but you know what? I don't actively load save states that much anymore, so. I'm good about that. I'm actually learning my lessons. Unless something's just inherently bullshit and I want something beat. <laughs> like Star Wars Episode 3, where I just like, I can't, I can't do this. I just want it beat. Alright, so when you start off this game, they're pretty bad. Oh, these are rippers. Okay. So what are the other things, then? The friggin' divey dudes. That's what I'm gonna call them. Divey dudes. I'm gonna call this episode divey dudes. Screw it. There we go. The, the quicker I get names made for these episodes, the the more effectively I can release them. All right. This game really does fluctuate in frame rate. Oh, it doesn't go far enough. I need either... I'm pretty sure they want you to use bombs, but, you know. I'm just trying so hard not to reference Zelda CDI right here. Alright, is this where they wanted me to go? I suppose this is where they want me to, wanted me to go. Okay. Had to be. Long beam! Can you also heal me up, boy? No, you can't. Okay. Fire a long distance shot with this beam. Is that one energy tank? Do I start off with an energy tank? Also, this will not be 100% items because, seriously, I don't do that for- I just can't do that with Metroid. <laughs> oh, they don't even give you the charge beam initially. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure they give you the charge- Blech. The charge beam later. So, whatever. So, probably at one point I will play Metroid NES, but, you know, that's for a later day, because fucking- that game is, like, borderline unplayable into 
for today's standards, because it's like, it's heavily non-linear, like, like, the shift from this game is pretty, okay, it's pretty radical. Okay, so we can't go here until the end of the game, but, you know, whatever. And don't worry, I say, like, I'm gonna go there by the end of the game. I won't. I'll be like, where do I go? And then I'm like, oh, I just go through that door. I don't know, what is this thing? Oh god, oh god, it's killing me. That took an awful lot of damage. Oh, that's a long beam door. Okay. Oh, you tell me where to go. Cool. So I need to get map data. Okay. Thank you, Chozo Bird Man, for actually helping me in this situation. Okay. So story time. <laughs> is it too late for story time? I don't know. I don't usually tell stories on this show, which is really weird. Usually I'm more concentrated about the game, but this time I'm just going to be like, well, whatever, because I'm running around doors. <laughs> I'm running around just trying to get into doors. I mean, you know, fucking, there's nothing worth telling here. Never mind, we're already in. Oh, the blocks are just gone forever. Cool. Anyway, um, I went to school today, because I'm recording this when school's open. Except this is going to be uploaded on, uh, Christmas. Yeah, this is going to be uploaded on Christmas. This is my Christmas present to y'all. Uh, just playing a game that I love. You know, because... Like, apart from, like, Metroid NES and Metroid 2, like, those are the only ones that are, like, really not playable of all the classic Metroids. Okay, get off of me. How do you get these off of you? I'm just... I'm falling down doors, and I can't... This plastic... I can't figure out how to... Fuck this shit. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I realized for my uh, senior year of high school, I have to pay over $150 if I lose money. <laughs> if I lose my parents' money, I'm paying $150 plus dollars. Oh, the bug goes away when you go through a door. Okay, cool. Uh, is this just... You need the high jump. No, you don't. Well, actually, for up there, you're gonna need the high jump. Or the, um, ledge grabber thingy. Ledge grabber. <laughs> That's what it's called, right? Oh, I remember you have to shoot one of these things. I could never figure that out for some reason. Oh, okay. These require more ball bombs, which I don't have those yet. So, oops. Okay, we're not done yet. Also, that that's your health up there, not FPS, which, because... I, my FPS is in the corner of the window, which you can never see during a recording because uh, I don't want to show that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, I could probably use these features like shooting diagonally and whatnot, but it's like... I prefer to be classic with the style, just fucking... Just shoot horizontally the whole time. Put that self-imposed challenge on you. Make it NES-styled. Uh, what am I doing? Ah, uh, that's the missile door, which I'm pretty sure you missile find missiles... Probably not in this door. Yeah, that's a save point. I might as well hit up a save room. I might got a tiny bit more progress and then end the episode. So, whatever. Probably try to get whatever the next upgrade is. So... Where I went to was the uh, morph ball area. Was the morph ball bomb area? So I'm probably sure I'm getting the um, either the missiles or the morph ball bombs next. But I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've played this game. Uh, okay. Missile tank. There you go. We got missiles. Press R and B to fire. Opens red hatches. Cool. Yeah, it's not like uh, Metroid Fusion, where you friggin' have to open the doors by what color they are. Another stupid shit. Okay. Really? Okay, so what they want you to do is get the missiles now. And then not burn yourself in lava. That's not a good. Okay, I'm gonna have to grind off these idiots for health. See, that's some NES stuff right there. Oh! Okay. Well, there got my missiles. No! No!
Oh, it was just a survival deal. Okay, cool. I'm trying not to die, actually. Whatever, I escaped. So whatever. I think it makes more of a difference if you're able to kill it. I don't know. The thing is, would you have enough missiles to kill it? I don't know. Whatever the case may be, I do not want to find out. So, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh my god. That's what I hate about the original Metroid's level design, though. It's friggin'... It makes you do stuff like that. Where you just... You throw yourself everywhere, and then you'll fall off platforms for... No reason. <sighs> Looks like I'm grinding enemies for missiles. Just seems like they're never gonna give them to me. So ain't that splendid? And I... Ah. Why couldn't they just restore my weapons? Why couldn't they do that? No! It's not, not in our ability to friggin' increase your weapons capacity. Just something! Give me missiles! That's all I want to do. I want to blow stuff up. I want to open one door. Just one. One singular door. Oh my god. Why? Why? Can these things give me missiles? Nothing's giving me missiles! I can't, I can't figure out how to get them! Screw this game! <laughs> it's not giving me missiles. It's actually refusing to give me missiles. Just because these enemies, like, I guess they don't regularly drop missiles. Okay, finally! And they only give me two. They only give me two. So if I need to come back, what do I do? Oh, this game... It's irritating me. It's irritating stick. Okay. Alright, screw the bats. I don't need to worry about you. Oh, come on! So you don't remember that in the original NES game. Okay, more fall bombs should be over here. Why not? Oh, please, not this again. Not again! Cool. Thank you, at least it gave me five more missiles. Okay. What the fuck? Now I know that you eat missiles for breakfast. Okay. Oh my god, really? Oh, I can shoot these things. Okay, run away. Okay, got an energy tank. Alright. So I only had one health bar the whole time. Okay, I should shoot before I jump. Or not, just keep dunking myself in the lava. That's a great idea. Just give me more fall bombs. Just at some point, just give me more fall bombs. Okay, there we go. No, no, we're in a tube now. Thank you. Oh. Oh, map room. Okay. Better than that. Map room. There. You know what? At this point, I'm going to end it off here. Because at least I know where I'm going now. Alright. So, anyway. Next time on Metroid Zero Mission, we're going to be seeing if we can get the Morph Ball Bombs and seeing where we have to go to next. So, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.